There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to make a new one of those from the same press conference with Nancy Pelosi believing George W. Bush was still in office uh, and was uh, working with the Russians. I guess everybody's working with the Russians. No one can think of drain the swamp or lock her up or Hillary for president or crooked Hillary without Vladimir Putin. In fact, I couldn't even name my children uh, without Vladimir Putin's help. In fact, he called up uh, when each child was born and I said, Mr. President, what do I name my son and my daughters? And he would always tell me. So thank God he's there. In fact, the making of a president 2016, now a best seller, best uh, political seller right now on amazon.com going up the charts, now officially out. We're shipping them out every day. I'm signing them. Roger Stone's signing them. I'm going to have to stop soon, though. Roger says he'll go up to 15,000. Well, that 5,000 more or so, we're going to be there. The making of the president 2016, how Donald Trump orchestrated a revolution. Powerful book. Infowarsstore.com or call toll free 888 I'll tell you what's really selling good for $9.95, and that is the revolutionary new exclusive super blue toothpaste made right here in America at the factory that makes the leading brand of fluoride free. That's that's what the formula is. When you private label, you can't say the name, uh, but everybody knows the name, and it's high quality. It's what I personally used previously. And now they add our iodine, our true iodine, deep earth crystal iodine, and nano colloidal silver, along with peppermint and tea tree oil. We have a bubblegum flavor coming out because, yeah, it's pretty strong. And so kids don't really like this, but you can get them to do it. I mean, it doesn't taste bad to me, but, you know, as an adult, your taste buds get a, a different palate. Shot of Jack Daniels tastes wonderful. Back when you were 14, it burned like hell going down your throat. Not that I'm a big drinking man, but you know what I mean. The allegory certainly works. This is the creme Dollar Creme, designed by my dad. Infowarsstore.com or 888-253-3139. And I can't believe it. We ordered more than double what we got in the first run that sold out in one week. And it looks like at current sales rates, which is great because it'll help us fund the operation, we'll be sold out in two weeks of this. And then hopefully um, more will come in. But again, it's a gamble to make so much of it and spend all our capital. But then... And it looks like folks love it. It's got a 4.8 star reviews, 79 reviews on power reviews. I, in fact, I really should read a few of these and then go to Roger Stone. Uh, this is from uh, Tedum Sue, Norman, Oklahoma. This is so different than regular toothpaste. There is no comparison. It seems pricey. Well, $9.95. I mean, uh, it costs us like four or five bucks to make it. Uh, it seems pricey, but really isn't because it only dispenses a small amount at a time. Exactly. It's concentrated, folks. It not only keeps my mouth super clean and feeling healthy, it does, doesn't does glob up on the toothbrush, rinses so cleanly, I'll never return to the old toxic toothpaste again. Thanks to Alex and his father for this wonderful product. Only one of many. Well, thank you for your support. Here's one more. This is uh, from Michigander in mid-Michigan. Highest quality toothpaste. Again, five stars. You really only need a pea size of this toothpaste. See, same thing especially since it's pricey. I guess they all see it as pricey. I guess something that's $4 and, you know, cost them a dollar to make, you know, seems less pricey, but this is that's not what it is. Plus, it's a big tube. However, it is enough for a use unlike most others. Makes your uh, teeth literally squeaky clean and seems to do an amazing job in every way compared to all other toothpaste I've tried. Bought one for myself and my sister during the Christmas special. Only halfway through since then, amazing product. We'll never use another toothpaste ever. I would smash a bottle of Colgate or whatever with my foot and smear it on the ground because it's so disgusting. Yeah, I, I forgot to get toothpaste when I was in California, and I just said, I'm getting some fluoride toothpaste. It's not bad every once in a while, you know. So I go down to the gift shop at the hotel, and it was just like, it wasn't even like what Colgate was 10 years ago or 20. It was like like air. It was just so thin, and it was nothing even in there, and it didn't even do anything. I was just scrubbing my teeth for like 10 minutes with this, like, Two minutes is all I need to do. And I'm a big brusher. My dad's, you know, a retired dentist, an oral surgeon, uh, and also chemist. But the point is, this is an amazing product. Infowarslife.com, infowarsstore.com, or 888 253 And again, folks, $9.95, it's not pricey. You get big tubes of organic toothpaste, uh, you know, they're like 6 7 $8. This has even more stuff added that costs even more in the process to go to one of the big giant companies and then have them set up a whole you know, factory run for you is expensive when you're only getting 20,000 pieces done. Now, that sounds like a lot. 
If we were doing 100,000 pieces, I could get the toothpaste for like $2. Okay, instead of 3 or 4 or $5. It just depends. First run was even smaller, so it costs us even more. That's the problem with boutique stuff. It's why limited run stuff always costs more. If people just demanded higher quality in the market, just like they're doing with organics, it would up the market. There'd be more production. Prices would fall. That's how supply and demand works. But you first got to build the market. At first, you bring something to market, either fails or succeeds, but it costs you more. And people early on usually have to pay more or you've got to invest. Then it tends to become a hit, if it is a hit, and then production goes up, price goes down. That's how real economics works. Infowarsstore.com. Thank you all for your support. But believe me, you know, the four or five bucks we make on this, we desperately need it. So buy a T-shirt when you're there. Uh, buy a Hillary for President 27 shirt, 2017. Looks like it might happen with Jeff Sessions now, huh, folks? So again, InfoWars is the operation you're building. Please support our local AM and FM affiliates as well. And their local sponsors or become a sponsor or send them a donation because we're now on over 250 plus stations because listeners are supporting the stations and spreading the word. And, you know, InfoWars is everywhere now. And we're really having a big effect. Again, Joe Rogan talked to him yesterday. And he said, undoubtedly, this is the biggest podcast in history in the world. And they're delisting it off Google, trying to block it off iTunes. Also, they will not allow it to trend on YouTube. But he added it all together. And this is already double any podcast basically Joe Rogan's ever had. And he's had stuff up there eight years. And he's the number one podcaster, folks. So understand total domination. And again, I'm not bragging. I want you to understand we're having a huge effect. He's the number one comic on iTunes. Number one on Google. He's in the top 10 undisputed comedians in the world today. And the 9-11 broadcast is the biggest podcast in history and is being blocked from the top trends. Okay, let's just stop right there. I want to go to our guest till the end of the hour. Roger Stone, former head of the Trump campaign, the man that also got him to run back in 2000, uh, joins us to cover a lot of big developments, obviously sessions being confirmed yesterday, and a lot more. But also, I want to pick your brain, Roger. You know, a lot of times, you don't really leak stuff to anybody, including me. Uh, you've given me some trends to watch, and they've always come true. Uh, but I have a lot of sources telling me that we know who the leakers are in the White House. It's very serious. I have military sources uh, confirming the intel that it appears that a leak did get the target uh, out to ISIS and al-Qaeda in an attempt to bay a pigs, uh, a.k.a. Kennedy, uh, embarrass Trump. We're investigating that more. Uh, we certainly uh, have intel that it happened. We're just not exactly sure who. But we do know who's leaking in many cases, and this is just amazing. I don't know if you're ready to get into that, but but I, I need to talk to you over the show today about my sources so we can share notes. But there's so much uh, happening. But first off, congratulations on your book being number one on Amazon Political. Well, thank you very much, Alex. I guess now would probably be the right time to announce that I confess everything. Vladimir Putin dictated every word of my book, every word. He wrote the whole thing. Uh, so we might as well get that up front right away. This whole idea that you and I work for the Russians or that there was any link between the Trump campaign and Russia is it's getting tedious because it is ridiculously false. Uh, just like, um, you know, Vladimir P Putin naming your children. By the way, I met your son, Nikita, very nice kid. Yes. Uh, you know, it's absurd the idea that he's writing my book or putting words in Trump's mouth. It's it's absurd. Uh, and the deep state has run this one into the ground. Nobody's buying. Secondarily, I congratulate you on the incredible numbers on this podcast with Joe Rogan. Uh, but I understand this whole trend towards censor censorship. Suddenly, my Twitter feed is unverified. I had to fight with them to get verified to begin with. But there are several other people posing as Roger Stone, posting nasty stuff. They finally verified me, which has been a long, epic battle. And by the way, they've kicked Milo me. off. They've announced they're blocking alt-right material. Uh, the Daily Mail, I think it's a great paper. Sure, they cover some swimsuit stuff in Hollywood news, but so much of the news is really cutting edge. The Daily Mail's been banned as fake news by Wikipedia. I mean, Wikipedia's fake compared to them. This is This is a real purge going on. And I, I now notice that they have some kind of go-slow mechanism. So in the past, my 
you know, if I put up a provocative tweet or a newsworthy tweet. That's right. They've put governors on everybody. We always knew it. Now they admit it. You know, now now instead of getting a couple thousand retweets, I'm getting a couple hundred retweets. Um, it, it is it is really distressing. Uh, you raise the question: What is the president going to do about this new you know censorship board that has uh, been financed now, approved and financed by the Congress? This was clearly the vehicle Hillary Clinton was going to use to silence us. Uh, no one should understand the value of alternative media more than Steve Bannon, who is right there at the president's sleeve. And by the way, just to interrupt, uh, Dr. Corsi's big article at Infowars.com yesterday got the secret document. It was also then reported in other papers uh, where Brock is intending to head up this new State Department operation with Snopes and a, and a, a mail-order diploma outfit that's who supposedly is now going to run things. So I guess uh, Trump needs to be made aware of the fact that his arch enemy, David Brock, I guess, is going to be running the State Department. Yeah, it, it, it's really extraordinary. Uh, and congratulations to Dr. Corsi. That was a, that was an incredible piece that I think ripped back the veil from exactly what they have going on. They, they have to resort to censorship because the truth kills all cockroaches. That's their real fundamental problem. And when people are exposed That's right, and we truth, are wrecking them on every front. Paul has more Twitter impressions than all BBC tweets combined, and he's so big, he hasn't caught them dialing him back too much, though they're starting to freeze his account. Facebook's doing it. I mean, clearly, they're testing shutting us down. Well, perhaps it's because we are the rallying point. This is the resistance. Um, I can't even begin to tell you the number of people when you go to New York City, when you walk three or four blocks, the number of people, and this is in ultra-liberal New York, who come up and say to me, God bless you, God bless Alex, I see you all the time on InfoWars, if it wasn't for you guys, we'd never know the truth. I mean, it's heartening, it's really heartening, and they're people from all stratas. Exactly, we're not society. bragging, uh, I mean, it's just, we're number one, Drudge is number one. Look at how Drudge says, hey, Trump. You better start cutting taxes, and Trump responds in hours. Yes, yes, Drudge, I'm on it. And, and, I mean, that's good. That shows how responsive he is. Well, I think he understands the coalition that elected him uh, and, the, and the, the incredible coming together of, the, of the, those voters who were fed up with the rigged system. My concern is whether some of the people around him understand that. We certainly know that Steve Bannon, who I defended on the Charlie Rose show night before last, he understands it. But when you surround yourself with these establishment Republicans who have no loyalty to you or to your candidacy when you were running or to your, or your pres presidency, is it surprising that the White House leaks like a sieve? I mean, this is the this is the lowest form of disloyalty. Sure, I'm it a is. believer in strategic leaking. If the president orders something leaked for a strategic reason, that's one thing. That's right. You but, leak only when the president tells you to. Well, if you work for the president, or if you're trying to reach some. No, I'm saying if people inside the White House shouldn't be leaking, but they want to be darlings with the media. And you notice the media loving Rince Priebus. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, I, look, I, I think that's precisely the problem. So when you're leaking and your leak makes the principal look bad, makes the president look bad, that's beyond disgusting. That That is just, that's just treasonous. We have the Washington Post quoting a White House staffer. The president is like a clueless child. We have the New York Times. The president is wandering the halls wearing a bathrobe. Well, you know what? The White House is drafty, and if the president wants to wear a bathrobe in the family quarters after hours, who cares? And by the way, he's working till 2 in the morning. Thank God he's working in a bathrobe. Well, that place is drafty. I've been there. I've worked there. So uh, uh, this is the kind of nitpicking uh, that the media loves, but they wouldn't be able to write it if they didn't have But, I mean, my family to... asked me to put a bathrobe on when I'm wandering around in my underwear. I mean, big deal. Yeah. I, again, he has enemies around him. He should completely trust everyone around him. Well, the leakers have to be found, and, and we're going to get into this more, I can see, in the next couple weeks. Uh, I know the president finds these leaks very disappointing. I know he's very unhappy about them. Uh, they're very hard to nail down, of course. Well, it also shows the arrogance. Terrible. Well, we know. We know who's doing it. We're going to give them the info. We, it shows how dumb certain people are that they think they're going to get away with leaking when we know basically everybody and everything. 
put your finger on it. The motive of the leakers is self-aggrandizement. The motive of the leakers is to suck up to the reporters they leak to so they can look more important. Uh, I know, and what's crazy is they don't get being, I I told her Spiegel yesterday, I said, I want you to attack me. Don't you understand? I don't care because if you ever endorse me, it would hurt me because the public knows you're scum. Do you understand? I don't want a Fox show. I don't want to be endorsed by them, okay? I'm just pointing out the fact that what's Tucker Carlson doing having Redcoat on his show, Piers Morgan. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I share that disappointment. Uh, In the five books that I have written, uh, this is the only one for which I have not yet been invited. It's because you are so important. You are so effective. It's because of that. If you were a nobody, you'd be on all these shows because you'd be controllable. And again, we don't even need to be on their shows. But just look at how pathetic it is. Understand that, audience. It's because you spread the word, you listen, you spread the links, you support the broadcast that we are destroying them, and they cannot stand it. This has been adopted as of 2017 by the Department of Defense, all four branches of the military, Combat One. And guess who in the spring of 2017 has the exclusive right to sell this to everybody else but the military? Infowars.com. I want to commend Q and Patrick and the rest of our team. I want to commend Combat One for getting the big Pentagon deal. And I want to thank them for supporting us because they know we support America. We are the exclusive source of Combat One skin and muscle optimization, field foam, field spray, skin and muscle optimization, and broad spectrum hygiene tactical bath contains eight pre moistened cloths. Ladies and gentlemen, these are incredibly affordable and they have patented proprietary systems. That's why it's been adopted by the Pentagon, by the Defense Department, system-wide. I'm gonna go over some of the numbers, some of the proven statistics and the claims that Combat One can make right now. Never before has the public been able to access this new Combat One military-grade hygiene technology used by special operations to maintain hygiene during survival situations. Studied for safety and effectiveness by St. John's Medical Research Institute, St. Jude's, and the American Journal of Infection Control. The technology behind Combat One Wipes kills bad bacteria while leaving beneficial skin bacteria unharmed. That's the key buffer. The toxic wipes, the sanitizers kill everything, including your immune system. They lower your fertility. It's all admitted. Combat One is able to do this naturally by only targeting the bad stuff. And again, it's all patented. It's super secret. 12 years, special forces testing it. This is something every info warrior needs to order needs to have in their home, needs to use in their daily lives, whether it's cleaning your guns or your own skin or when you're out camping, this is the game changer. The entire family of Combat One is available exclusively at InfoWarsStore.com. Just coming back from the river where I was using one of our water filtration straws, a certain device we sell here at InfoWarsStore.com, and I had smacked my knuckle pretty hard the other day with my knife after cleaning one of the animals. Um, So I'm gonna use some Combat One foam show you guys that we actually use it, how well it works. Uh, This wound's been open for about five days now. I just dipped it in and out of the river, so just a better safe than sorry. Once I let that soak in, I'll wrap it up, field dress it nice and clean again. And it certainly is coming to the rescue with Combat One, born in America, made in America and now distributed by InfoWars to America.